twos and ones, empaths, you don't need to be down about this toxic person that's exited your life. Anyone that walks out of your life, it's their loss. All praise is due to the Most High for taking this toxic person out of your life. Whether it was a friend, whether it was a romantic partner, whether it was a colleague or an associate or a family member, if they're no longer in your life now, this needs to be celebrated. You need to rejoice at the fact they're out of your life. This person, this toxic person that was involved in your life, they were holding you back. They were holding you back from your potential. They were holding you back from development and spiritually ascending. Right? You're on the path of ascension now. You're developing. You're better in yourself. These people were nothing but vultures. And they were dragging you down. They were holding you back. And this is why a divine intervention was at play. From the most high. And he caused these people. That was involved in your life. These toxic people. To no longer be a part of it. God didn't want. These toxic individuals. Around you. God didn't want them to be a part of your life. This is what. His hidden hand. is his hidden hand. That's beneath the veil. That's causing this separation. So you don't need to be distraught. Or upset. About someone walking out of your life. You don't need to be upset about that. Right? You don't need to be upset that it ended in a bad way. This was a divine intervention. By the most high. That caused this separation. From a friend. From a family member. From a romantic partner. From an associate. From a colleague. Whoever it was in your life that was affecting you. These people had... No good intentions for your life. They had no good intentions at all. They weren't. They weren't good people. They weren't good people. They weren't someone that you sh that was deserving to be in your company. And that's why God plucked them straight away and threw them elsewhere. Let them go and mess up someone else's life. They're not messing up yours. These people were preventing you from knowing your true self. They were preventing you from uncovering wisdom inside you. They were preventing you from developing and evolving. They were preventing this from happening. These people that were involved in your life, these toxic individuals, they're dream assassins. They were, they were attacking your dreams. They weren't letting you ascend to your dreams. They weren't letting you fulfill your destiny. These people are not part of your path. It needs to be celebrated. These toxic individuals that was involved in your life were not part of your path. They're not part of your journey. They weren't meant to be. They weren't meant to be part of your journey. They were put in your life for a period of time. And God tested them. These individuals that were involved in your life. These toxic individuals. God tested them. And they didn't change. They remained in their toxic ways. All they wanted to do is inflict misery on you and pain and torment. God was testing them. And then God removed you from their life. These people feel a huge absence now you're gone. These toxic individuals that you was involved with. They feel a huge absence now you're gone out of their life. They feel a huge absence. You was a true blessing to their life. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. It will take two seconds of your time. Thank you. But please, chosen ones, empaths, celebrate that these people that was involved in your life are gone. Celebrate it. Do not be distraught. Because the brain plays tricks on you. The brain plays tricks on you. It makes you start to think, oh, it would be nice if I had them around. Or you, you, you feel a bit lonely now. Or you feel a bit alone. You know, don't let the brain play tricks on you. You've got to see beneath the veil. This was the hidden hand of God that removed them. This was divine intervention at his best, at his finest, right? These people were plucked out of your life. Celebrate it. Celebrate it. And, you know, do not let them back in either, these toxic individuals, because they will come back knocking. They will try and come back around, right? 
You need to be stern in who you are. You need to be. You need to have your discernment switched on, and make sure you don't let them back in, right? Because they will. They will come knocking. They will try and get back in. They're desperate, right? You're a chosen one. You're an empath. You're highly intuitive. You're a special being of light that was sent to this earth to fulfill a purpose. You've got purpose. You've got meaning to your existence. These people, these toxic individuals that was involved in your life, they have no sense of purpose. They have no meaning. Their meaning is to bring destruction and pain. Forget about those people, right? Celebrate is something to be celebrated for. You should feel liberated with yourself, right? Even if you're alone now, even if you're alone, it's it's a blessing. It's a blessing that you're alone, right? Now you can let this, you know, one door closes, another one opens. This will make room for actual, honest, true, transparent people that will be involved in your life. Not these toxic individuals. You haven't got no time for these toxic individuals. You've got to cut them out of your life, right? And God's done it for you. You didn't even have to lift a finger. God's done it for you, right? God's made it easy for you. God got rid of them out of your life. Please don't let this toxic individual allow your brain to play tricks on you and make you miss them or make you want to rekindle a friendship or a romantic partner or a colleague or an associate or a family member. Don't let them, don't let it re- make you want to rekindle with these people because these people, they have no value. These people have no respect for you, right? They didn't respect you when they had you. And now they feel an absence, you're gone. Do not let that trick your mind to make you think they've changed their ways. Don't believe it for a second. You can never let these toxic individuals back into your life. Whether they're a narcissist, a psychopath, a sociopath, or just toxic in general. You can't let these individuals that was involved in your life back into your life. Make sure of that. You've got to make sure of that chosen ones. You've got to make sure of that empaths, right? I want you to celebrate them Exit in your life. When someone walks out of your life, it's a true blessing from God. It's a blessing that these individuals walked out of your life that was involved in your life. They walked out of it. Let them go. It's a blessing. Celebrate it. Rejoice. It's your victory. You've gained victory over this, right? So just know this. Toxic individual that's involved in your life is is feeling your absence now and they will suffer the consequences. You don't need to feel no absence or no void. There's no void from them, right? Enjoy your time alone, even if you are alone. Make room for new people to enter your life. Celebrate. Just make sure to keep toxic people away from your circle. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find a link in the description box. If you'd like a one-to-one session with myself, you can also find a link in the description box. Currently, I've got the main channel, the narcissism channel. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.